Okay, welcome back to E0 VOV. This is the latest project. It's a um, monoband homebrew radio built into an old Maxcom 4A CB cabinet. Um, it's uh, a kit made in Spain. It's called an Euler 40. That's India Lima Echo Romeo 40. They do do a 20 meter kit as well, but uh, I've gone for a 40. So I'll show you it working and I'll show you the insides and how it all comes about. But basically, we've still the channel changer is now obviously the tune knob. I'll show you how it works inside in a minute. Um, still the volume, etc. ATT is on the CBPA. And we've got a tone switch on the back, which I'll show you in a while, for tone generation, which is ideal for SWR tuning. Um, I've reversed the case so now the speaker actually lives in the top and where the old display was is now a voltmeter which is kind of convenient for me working SOTA etc portable so that's the plan let's um, have a listen Show you the switch on the back, very simply. There we go. External speaker socket for the headphones. Tone generating switch. Nice little heat sink for the uh, 1969 transistor. Organ fuse power lead. The CB is a good donor. So. Uh, So there we go. Okay. I'll pause a minute, we'll pop the covers, show you the workings of how it all come to life in there. Back in a mud. Okay, back again. Let's have it so we bring the light in a bit better for you. There's the Isle of Board. There's the workings inside. A little polyvericon down on the bottom right here. Let's turn this down a bit. The centre control at the moment is not in use, but it will be. I'm going to build a RIT in there, put a RIT in the board. But uh, other than that, it's there. It's a rather tight fit in places. But uh, very pleased with the result. Couldn't find room for the AGC board, so the AGC ended up sat over here. Here's our AGC board. The trimmer on the top, as you see there, the variable resistor is actually for the um, signal meter. For trimming up the signal meter to make him accurate. Anyway, there we go. That's my little Isla. Very pleased with the results so far. Um, obviously, it's only a QRP 5 watts, but uh, the next project is a little homebrew. Um, uh, next project, yeah, a homebrew 40 meter um, linear, 30 watt. For less than 20 pound so uh, keep an eye out for the next video there folks and i'll wish, uh, wish you uh, 73s hope you enjoy the uh, hope you enjoy watching the video here i hope it uh, may inspire somebody to uh, possibly copy what i'm doing or uh, if nothing else just get you out with the tools and soldering all right 73s and 2e0 vov until the next video